Rockefeller was always good. You know, he was always the best. And anything he had to tell us to do, we kind of do it. Yeah. And we kind of died. He got four skunks and a possum that night. And uh, he said, go ahead and take show to Daddy. So we went in the front door and, you know, to the bedroom where Daddy was. And he talked about mad. He got so mad. But we would have gotten in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> But Mother had to take um, Mother used to, mm -hmm. you know, wash it off of us. And, oh, man. Yeah. Why don't, they, he, don't you ever do that again? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we walk through that front door? Because the, he had his uh, the, the coal stove uh -huh. was in the front room there. And we walked in the front room and closed the door and, and your dad says, <laughs> Man, you guys stink. Of course, we went coon hunting, but just right across the way, there was a, 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 a haystack. And the dogs, you know, the dogs always wanted to go. And they got in there, and they started digging, and we thought, okay, now we got to dig this. We didn't know it was coming. And uh, we got close to it. And all of a sudden, we found out, Johnny said, that's a skunk. He says, I want to keep the skin. No. And he's trying to call the dogs no. off. To keep so they keep it. So they look, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they got on each end and they just start pulling that skunk apart. <laughs> and we were covered in nothing but skunk skin. Oh and as God. we was walking back to the house, I said, Man, them skunk I mean, them dogs stink, don't they, Johnny? And he said, Yeah, they do. We couldn't smell ourselves. <laughs> just <the> dogs. <laughs> and we uh <laughs> We got to the house and my coat, my cap. Mom says, take those and hang them on the line out there so they get the scent. And that night it rained and it shrunk my coat and my cap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. But, boy, I, I can remember that when that heat hit that scent. Boy, I mean, it just really mm -hmm. stunk bad. Dennis, look at that heat uh, that Carolyn uh, brought to that little bag. How did we have enough right there? Now, uh, whenever we... This is for all you're going to get. No, go in the house. It seems so little to what you see. You see, oh, yeah. it's a big house. It was. It was a big house <laughs> to me. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's not big. It doesn't seem so big. Now, this, who lives there? Our son. Oh, yeah? Uh -huh. Well, then you'll be able to see it. Yeah, you'll be able to see it right now, except they go look at him. The grandson, he's out of school now, so he can't do the day. Oh. Well, that's good. Yeah. Good time to. He, he doesn't pay much attention, you know, a lot of time you go and. Shorter than everybody said. gets lost, too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pay any mind. <laughs> Can't move your glass back. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say uh -huh. simple green. I it love does, it. It is good for yeah. everything, isn't it? Well, I love that stuff. Let me take y'all's pictures together. Hide, my, hide your stuff, uh, Odell. Hide my go. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, you did it. <laughs> We're on video camera. Hi. <laughs> Oh, I won't mind it so much after I lose some weight, and then I won't. <laughs> oh, you're okay. Not that bad. Not as bad as I am. <laughs> from what I hear, from what I hear from you, I and my brother and Nellie Congers, the only ones left. Mm -hmm. I wrote Nellie a letter, but I haven't heard from her. Oh, you haven't. Did you see her? No, I want to go by, and we didn't, so I said, well, I'm going to go up there on my own <laughs> later. Uh, yeah, I might get two this summer. Sometime. Well, I, I wrote, I wrote, or dropped her a few lines. Uh -huh. I'm not very good, I don't like to write, but I did. Well, I think it. you do a real good job and, writing. And so I... Uh, <laughs> you ought to sit down writing. <laughs> I, I can't read your, and I can write, but I can't read it. Uh-huh. And uh, I write my sister every two or three weeks. Well, I read his letter real well. But, uh, uh, 
and and I I think Mabel Conger, she married a Conger, and I think she was a king. Um, I'm not sure, but I think. And then there was Ada, Ada Con Ada King. She was older than Mabel, I think. I can remember things back then faintly that I can't ma remember two minutes ago, you know, mm -hmm. I mean. Uh, Are the Kings and Crogdens related? Not really, oh. I don't think. I think it must be Fanny marrying into her, you know, uh, the sister of Mary Jane, wouldn't you think? Well, uh, Fa uh, Fanny wasn't, mayor, wasn't married to a, to a Trogdon. No, I meant Mary Jane was Trogdon. You know, she was Jeremiah's wife, but Fanny was her sister. Oh, that might have been. That's according to the... Um, Maybe that was. According to their uh, records, that's, they have her down that, as her sister. That's possible. Uh, now, there was some Wagners that... Uh, was in the land run and lived near the Jeremiah Trogdon over there at Stroud. So I'm going to go back over there and look later when I get back home uh, and see if I can find out. I, and another thing that I didn't, that, that this, I never, I never had heard this, that he would, be, he had married before. Yeah. And I guess, I guess back in them days, if you crossed two straight l state lines, you got a divorce. Huh? <laughs> well, you I figured know, that that's what it was. <laughs> you know, that first woman, after him and Mary Jane died, she drove the, his uh, Civil War pension up until the 20s, until she died. And her name was Caroline. And her maiden name was Johnson. Yeah, her name, maiden name was Johnson. And she was from North Carolina, and her parents were pretty well off. And uh, so she well, stayed uh, with uh, them. Uh, she was a, a domestic, though, you said. The yeah. Papers. Uh-huh. Uh, but see, she lived with her parents at one time. After Jeremiah left, uh, she was living with her parents. And then this guy that I talked to, his name was... French Steel. Steel. Yeah, French Steel Trogdon. And he said he was a grandson of hers and Jeremiah's. They always knew about us. But see, we didn't know about them. And my dad, he said he always thought maybe Jeremiah killed somebody or something because there's something secret is there that he didn't know what it was and Grandpa didn't tell him. And he thought maybe that's what it was. Well, that it was and it was, you know, uh, he had another family. Uh, we, uh, we're, we're a bunch of legitimates, uh, illegitimates then, aren't we? Caroline and Jeremiah got divorced. <laughs> And we hadn't found where Mary Jane and Jeremiah got married. But, you know, back then, sometimes, <laughs> uh, when someone got married, there wasn't no preacher or right. a courthouse well, around. handshake marriages. You know, so they went ahead. They this is what they said. They went ahead. Come along. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then when a preacher come along, well, got married. Well, if, if, if they hadn't got a divorce, then she was right to, to draw his right. uh, a pension. There was no, uh, because he wasn't really married to the other, uh -huh. the other one. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a book, well, and then that French Steel Trogdon said, you know, that uh, his grandmother always said that he wanted her to go to Oklahoma Territory. My brother, with him. my brother has one of these. Oh, okay. the first one. Oh, well, uh, no. It's a, well, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, yeah. Uh, it's a redback book. Uh -huh. You see. Well, I, I, I told them about you, and th and that's the reason they come down. They was coming down to a wedding down here, so they come on up here. And his son-in-law uh, is really—he's he, really interested. He wrote out. He wrote a lot of things down. Well, he's trying and to. And they, they'll probably contact you. Okay. To get the uh, Trogdon. Uh, I think he'll probably. Family con I think altogether. he'll probably contact mm -hmm. you. Uh, he. Uh, uh, and I'd like to find out about uh, Lou's family, where some of them are. Do you have They're any They're in San Diego. Oh, they are? Mm -hmm. Who? L and Lou's, Lou's family. They're family. in San Diego. Have you kept in touch with them all no, these years? Uh, no, mm -hmm. I haven't. I, I never... Uh, well, who is he? Aunt, Lou is, Aunt Lou's family 
the oh. fa you know, family of Aunt Lou. Oh, was that the people whose mother used to go to San Diego to visit? That's true. Yeah. They, uh... They're uh, probably all dead by now. I think... They weren't young. Uh-huh. They, uh, I expect, I expect all them people that's gone. Velda, Velda was the youngest one. I knew her better than any of the rest of them. She was, she, she was a red-headed gal. And, and the rest of them was all dark-headed. I, I don't know where she come from, but anyway, she was a, she was a red-headed one. And, and, she, but she died, she died very young. Oh, she was, really? Oh, I don't think she was even, maybe, uh, I don't think she was over 30 years old, much more than that. A and she seemed to be just as healthy as she could be, and personally knew she was dead. Mm -hmm. And then he died later on, her husband. And what was her last name? I can't remember. I can't either. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, now, where, where did they come in, the family? Lou is his dad's oh. sister. You knew that. Oh, I probably knew it at the time here, but I don't recall. She, uh, she had, let's see, she... They had been to our house. She had two boys and three girls. And Lou did. Mm -hmm. Otis, Otis was was the youngest boy. Otis was the youngest boy. Uh, he, the reason I, I, and Art, Art was the older boy, Art Thatcher. I think I had some paper in here. Uh, you can take that. Okay. I, I don't, it's kind of heavy anyway. I can't, it? uh, I, it'll take me, it'll take me a year if I try to, to read it now. I mean, what is it? It's, it's a, a big book. book. Dang it. It, it's I like the read it, but it's like the up. one that uh, that oh, Norman really? had. Oh, this is the second is this one. This oh, on the Trogdon family. Uh huh. This is the second one. Uh, Norman had the first one. Oh, uh huh. And he was sorry that he didn't get it. Mm -hmm. Well, Otis was one of the boys' name, and Art Art Thatcher then that uh, that he was a yeah who is another that? boy. That's some of the ones that wrote the book. Mm -hmm. Now we met this guy, he came down to see us. Mm -hmm. And this girl, she's a Trogdon. Now I can't remember I those two girls' names. Oldest, can't, Art. I can't remember the two older girls' names. Okay, and Zelda was? Zelda was the youngest. She was the baby of the family. Uh, I can, uh, but I can't remember those uh, two girls' names that saved my life. Uh, they, uh, I can remember Otis, uh, uh, well, I can remember Velda because we associated with, with them some. He, he was a head butcher at one of the uh, at Safeway stores, and, and what, when they had a butcher well, shop... What was that boy's name? What? I don't remember. He, he married a girl and had a birthmark. Oh, but that's, you're talking about somebody altogether different, I mean. Oh, okay. I've got it mixed up. Yeah, again. you're mixed up again. Uh, uh, I wish I could read that. Husband. I, I, I can't remember his name either. Uh, he was a head butcher. He, yeah, he, he was. He, what, what happened when Safeways? Uh, they moved him around. Safeway. He was. He was. He, he, he was go into a butcher shop that was run down one doing any good and they they'd send him to that when he got it all built up and going good again where it should he should have been get making some, some good money and on mm -hmm. then they'd move him to another one mm -hmm. <laughs> they were he, was too, he was too good for <laughs> for the same way but anyway uh, uh, I can't remember I can't remember those two girls' names to save my life. I just cannot remember. Mm -hmm. How did you get this? Uh, they, these uh, Trogdons up in Missouri, when they were writing this and researching it, they found us, and so we, that's how we bought it when they got it finished. 
Well, yeah. does this uh, does this go clear back to when the trogdons come over? Right, uh -huh. it does. Uh -huh. Well, then you uh, the 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 red book then it, yeah. it, it it was it was I think it was wrote by one of the old one of the old first old guys that come over. Yeah, and he, didn't he write it in the nineteen twenties? We got it in the nineteen twenties. Oh, uh huh. But uh, uh, Grandpa. Aunt Dorothy and Aunt Iris said, and Daddy did too, said that uh, Grandpa Trogdon had one, but whenever Grandma died and they had the sale, it disappeared. They don't know what happened to it. So, we never had one, but this lady had one, a copy of it, so she just copied it for Mother and Daddy, uh -huh. and uh, so I've got that copy. You know, with the copy machine, they copied it. Well, Ann Lee wanted Anna to be Lee up here, but she, did, she, uh, she didn't know in time, and she had a, uh, uh, she, Wedding, wasn't it? she, yeah, she, uh, it was a, she, she had a, a hundred, about 150 employees, and the most of them were women, and you know how women are when they, uh, when they work, they have to have little parties and weddings and all that mm -hmm. sort of thing. So that's what she got herself into, and when I called her, she said, I can't get out of this, uh, uh, taking care of this wedding, I guess, for one of her employees. And uh, she she works for a, a big... Finance company. Big finance company. Now, is this your daughter? My granddaughter. Granddaughter. Uh-huh. Yeah, she works for a big finance company down there. Her mother's dead, Marge. Okay, is that your old daughter? It's his daughter. Oh, okay. Your daughter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me again, I'll write it down. Like, what was your name of your children? Well, Paul is the oldest. And where is he at? He's in Minnesota. Okay. And Lee is the second one. And he is in Arizona. Okay. And the oldest daughter passed away. Uh, 16 years, 17, 16, 17 years ago, she's been dead for 16 or 17 years. And the youngest daughter is down in, uh, Betty. Betty, Betty is, Betty. is in, Tulare. Tulare. And what's Betty's last name? Best Binder. You want to spell it? D E S T D A S T B I N D E R. Just like it's pronounced. <laughs> and she uh, lives in Tula. Tulare. Tulare. Mm -hmm. California. Okay. And what's the name of your daughter that passed away? Marge. Marge or Jean. How many kids does Paul have? Three. He has one boy and two girls. Now how, how are you going to count Lee's? Well, Lee's got uh, Lee's got two girls, three uh, two girls and a boy by his first marriage, and he's got two kids by his second marriage. So he's got five children. Got a girl and a boy by that second marriage. And Marge had three, two girls and a boy. You never got in contact with the, with the girl in Oregon, did you? No, I called her and her answering machine came on. They 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 so they they, they have work. a they have a ranch up there. I kind of wondered if they both didn't. They 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 both work and they had and they have a ranch up there and they've just sold it. Oh, uh -huh. And they were trying to buy a house, uh -huh. and uh, the house that they thought they was going to buy fell through. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, Aunt Lee just told me. No. And that fell through, and they're trying to find. It was a big house, and so they're trying to. Uh, 
they're they're looking they're still look they're looking down. They may have to go into a motel or something. Oh, because <laughs> they might have to move out before mm -hmm. they find something. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they thought they'd found this place, mm -hmm. but the people that that they were buying it from didn't keep up their part of the bargain on it, and and they decided that they'd just drop it. Mm -hmm. So they so they don't uh, so they don't have a house and that that so they're they're really busy two mm -hmm. two busy people and they both work too. Mm -hmm. He works for the fire uh, fire forest well, forest reserves fire, fire department the year round up there mm -hmm. and and she she works for some company up there uh, so they and I don't really know what who she works. For. I don't know what the name of the place. And she has one daughter. That's yeah. her. That's her. That's her daughter right there on the corner up there. That second, the second, right Here. there in front. Oh, of this one. Uh huh. That's her daughter. Well, she's a cute little girl. Oh, oh, she she has pretty eyes. Hold it up right there. She's a beautiful child. And what's her name? Sarah. Sarah. Okay. Yeah. She's, uh, uh, she, she, uh, she's going to be, she's going to be the first one. Is this your daughter down here? Yeah, that's Betty. This is Betty, Anna. I believe she took that out there. Yeah, just like this. She's going to be the first one in our family to go to college. Ain't that something? Yeah, that is. <laughs> so you kind of have to be proud of her about a little bit about that. Right. The rest of us is all a bunch of dummies. Oh, um, you're not dummies. Now, is this your mother? No, that's uh, Irene. That's, your, that's, that's my mother. Irene's mother and her father. And her father. Do you have any pictures of your mom and dad? I don't know whether they're there or around there. We have some. I don't think I got a picture. I don't think I got a picture of my father. I can't see these well enough to tell who they are. But okay. I'll yeah. That's me, of course. That's oh, Irene. Yeah. That's Irene's sister, and that's her sister. My that's, sister on there. Yeah, and and this is her family. There's mm -hmm. my mother. Oh, uh -huh. and she was all alone. Mm -hmm. This is the girl that. That's in in uh, Oregon. This is the youngest, my youngest boy. That, that's mm -hmm. Lee, and th and this is Paul and his wife. He looks like the first wife. wife. That's, that's his first, first wife. Yep. That's and here, here, here we are. That's, that's you and Norman. Me and Norman. Let me see if Ken can get this. And that's that's Irene's father there, uh -huh. and this is uh, uh, Betty's daughter. That's Betty's daughter, mm -hmm. the one down there, too, and that's her husband. And I think this that's Anna Lee. Yeah, now, who her. is Anna Lee? Well, she's she's Margie's oldest. Oh, okay. Daughter. Uh, S A N I L E. And this is Annalise. This is Annalise's child. She just has one. That's her it's a boy. This one. Oh, okay. She just. And what's his name? Jeremy. Jeremy. I can't see it, so I just well sit down. Now there's some here that I don't know who they are. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, now here, there's these two here. I don't know who they are, and I don't know who this one is, and I don't know who that who that one is. Who mm -hmm. those are? I well, don't I mean, know. They're all family, can't you see? Yeah, but I don't know who they are. This one almost looks like that one. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I I don't know. This this son will probably be out. He comes out every year. Uh, 
And he's the one that lives in Minnesota. Maybe I can see. No, you won't be able to tell it. Dead. Dead. You think that sucker's went dead? That's Maybe. Right. Was it all? Yeah, it's uh -huh. dead. It's, it's died. You turn it's back here on the other. Let's see. Now. I'll get these other ones. Let me see if you can get the. This is it. Arnie and uh, mm -hmm. Norman whenever they was little. Okay. And this is Arnie when he was younger. Okay. And this is a reason, that's a, re a, a recent picture of me there. And is that your two sons or no, just no. you? No, oh, okay. no. One, one of them is our supervisor and the other one is our, uh, this one over here is our, uh, uh, well, man in Sacramento up there. Tell me which is Marge. Is that her? No, Black -headed. That's, me, that's me and, uh, that's me and, uh. That's who? There's a black-headed lady. I think that's Marge, isn't it? I don't know. I don't think so. Huh? Well, she's there. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's. Uh, Can you see it? Mm-hmm. And, and this, this is Marge's son here, and that's his wife. Was his wife? No, I don't know. I don't know who that is. I think it's all Marge's family. Well, maybe it is, Irene. But you know how it is. No, uh, I don't know how it is. <laughs> I don't. Uh, <laughs> can't tell. I don't tell. If, I can't tell. Okay. Now this is a this is a picture of my mother. That's Irene. She's smarting off there. Oh. What? Well, when you caught this big fish. She caught that big fish. I'd caught one and she knocked it off. So uh, <laughs> not mine off. So I didn't get one thing. And this this is me and and this is uh, Margie's husband. And this is Lee. And his family. And his first wife and, the, and their two children. Mm -hmm. And their two children there. And this is my grandmother, York. Well. There's my grand, and that's I, uh, Irene and me. Snodgrass. Mm -hmm. and, and this is Christine again. That's about the only ones that I know about. This is when we were doing a little nomading here with our truck and trailer. Mm -hmm. And I don't know who these two are. It's a hell of a notion to get so damn old you can't remember what, who, <laughs> who, who they are, you know. Well, if I well, can see, that I can just tell you goes with the territory, doesn't it? <laughs> that's the way it, it, certainly, that's the way it goes with it. <laughs> 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 That's the way it goes as far as I'm concerned. Oh, where do you want me to put these? Thanks. Well, one of them goes up here. Okay, I know which one goes up there now, so the other one will go to the other place in a minute. <laughs> well, I, I can hang that for you. Okay. They, that, that's Christine. Yeah, that's Chris. I don't want to step on something. <laughs> I shouldn't have put it down there. That's all right. I bet it goes that. right there. Then. It goes up here someplace. Okay. Pull it over this way. I, I think it will, it will pull the nail down just then. <laughs> Straighten up, he can straighten up when he gets up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, they said they said we come over on the Mayflower, but, but if we had, 
uh, all the people that come over on the Mayflower, they just thought that sucker for it got right. out of the harbor. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's lots of other boats are beginning to put on the air internet that the, that they have records of the people that came. Yeah, I, so, I, I know there was I know uh -huh. there was others. Now this is John and his wife and Aunt Dorothy. I don't know if you remember Aunt Dorothy. Oh, I, I remember, I, I don't, I don't. That's Iris' oldest sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah Dorothy. Uh-huh. Was she older than Howard? Yeah, she was I thought she was the oldest one, yeah. I think. I then Howard. Then Howard. Then Torn. And Howard is your father. father. Mm -hmm. And then they... Then it's Torn, Lawrence. Lawrence. We now met Lawrence. Uh-huh. And what was you to Iris? Iris is my aunt. I'm her niece. My dad and her were brother and sister. And and this is Dorothy. No, Dorothy's the baby. No, this Dorothy. is uh, this is Effie. That's Effie. Uh huh. Did you ever meet her? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, you lived up there, didn't uh, you? They, uh, uh, well, my, does that look uh, kind of like? I thought she was heavier than that, but yes. Heavy. Uh, Norman's going to be disappointed Iris when he found out that you came and he didn't get she to was see the baby. you. Uh -huh. Now this is all of them. Yes. There was five uh -huh. or six. Six, six. Six. And this one is who? That's t Uncle Torn. He's okay. the one that married the Lois, you know, that had the scar on her face, the mm -hmm. uh, birthmark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we met her and him. Did you meet Lawrence and Lawrence? He lived up Fresno and we uh, we we met the one we met the one uh, that his wife had the. But that was on. the only one. I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, now they was down there uh, in San Bernardino, uh, yeah. where Iris lives. See. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, I Irene. And thought that she was one of the nicest people she ever met. Mm -hmm. She was. She said, you you see you see that birth the first time and you never notice it again. Mm -hmm. Well, I told you she passed away about February of this year. Oh my. Yes. And the, the, this is when his wife. Is, yes. Daddy. I just loved her. Uncle Lawrence and Torrance and Uncle Vernon. That's the boys. Uh-huh. And then this is the boys after they were grown. This is Daddy and Vern, Torrance and Lawrence. He was the biggest one, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Tall. Mm-hmm. Uh, He's 5'11". Did he have a, did he have a farm? Did he own a farm of his own? Yes. Then? Did he? Uh-huh. What did they do with the farm? Uh, did well, they our it? son bought it. Did he? Before Mother passed away. Uh -huh. I see. And this is Grandpa Trogging. This is, you know, a little picture, and I had it blown up. And this is, Aunt, you know, Grandma Tr Effie Trogdon and her mother and her sister, her brother, Vincent Miller, and then that's Jack Miller. Yeah, I don't remember none of them. Uh -huh. I don't remember none of them. Uh, of course, like I say, I think we was, I was seven or eight years old when we left Oklahoma, so, uh -huh. so I wouldn't. And when we went back, why, well, I, I never... And this is some quilt Grandma Trogger had <coughs> made. And that's Aunt Dorothy before she passed away, about a year before she passed away. Mm -hmm. To me, her and Daddy got to looking just like. <laughs> and she did it. And that, that's in 43. Well, uh, the, she, uh, Grandma Trogger made that quilt in 1943. This is in, oh, probably 95. Six and seven and eight. Well, maybe it was about ninety-four when she passed away. She lived. Uh, she 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 was that. She, and she was. See, she she would have been in a couple of years younger than I was. I mm -hmm. Okay. And this here is. This was her at the same time we had went over to her house. Her father was John. This is my daughter, and this is my daughter, and this is Dorothy's husband. And this is her. Was your father John? No, my grandfather was John. My father's Howard. See, John was uh, John was uh, 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 Iris's father. No, 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 no. Yeah. John. 
Yeah, he was Iris' father. Uh, John Trogdon and Raleigh Trogdon and Roy Trogdon and brothers. was all brothers. And this is Roy Trogdon's grandson and his little boy and girl. Uh, are and they he, still in Arkansas? Yeah, this is David. Where is his children now? In Arkansas. Uh, Half of them. But they, that girl but come out here in the, during the war, didn't she? Yes. Is she she's she, still in Arkansas. She went back. Huh? Uh -huh. She wanted. She wanted to. She wanted to get out. She told my brother that she wanted to get out of there. Mm -hmm. She didn't like that. Didn't like the, the, the environment down there. Mm -hmm. But you know they've really. Uh, they're just as modern as the rest of us now. You know the country is. Mm -hmm. It's real pretty uh, down there. Iris was a talent. Tell them uh, about they, uh, they they went they went down to see Roy down there, and they were they were they were hacking ties. They were tie hacks, and they had a cart and a and an oxen. They was that's the way they was getting their ties to the railroad, and that uh, uh, Dan. Dan, Dan he the one that wanted to go, uh, go uh, ride, ride the, the car. car down to, to town, and he rode and down and had to walk 11 miles back because he wanted to ride. <laughs> now, she told us about that. Before. Yeah, but he was that way. <laughs> but, you know, everybody knew Dan, and he is the friendliest guy. And um, first time we went down, we didn't know where they lived, and Daddy took Grandpa John Trogdon to see him. And it was kind of flooding up there where we was, so he couldn't farm. And so he said, well, we'll go to Arkansas and take to see, you know, Uncle Roy. And we got down there. Well, Dan was in this barber shop, and Daddy just stopped there to ask, you know, how to go about finding him. And uh, anyway, he just laughed, and he was there. Everybody knew him, you know. Knew they, Dan. Uh, he was strong as a bull. Yeah. They say he was. Yeah, he was strong as a bull. Uh, they say that lift a horse uh, whenever when we was when we was yeah. out when we was in Montana why uh, we uh, Elsie's oldest boy stayed with us in the winter time to go to take us kids to school because it was Dan Norton me and my brother and there was another kid and he he kept every every day after school this kid jump on to Dan and heck, beat the Jesus out of him and Dan didn't even fight. He just laughed and it didn't hurt. So he come home one day and and uh, all picked up. And my dad said, Dan, said if you come home like that again, he just he just give you a little of what I'm going to give you a whole lot of. And it was about two miles from school, two and a half miles. Then next day he jumped on and Dan just beat the Jesus out of him, <laughs> and then run all the way home till tell my dad, he said, Uncle Raleigh, I whipped him. <laughs> <laughs> and he stopped the fight. There was no more fight. <coughs> but he was strong as a bull. Uh, Maybe he's afraid if he started, he might kill him. <laughs> well, that, that, they inherited some of that. <laughs> Goes away back, I yeah. think. I'm not sure, but I think it does. Well, that's Aunt Dorothy, Daddy, and Aunt Iris. He got oh, pretty heavy. Dan he got pretty heavy, and then he lost. What? When Dan lived with you, where was the little girl? She was there. They was just oh, there. with you too? Yeah. And this is Uncle Vern and his wife. It's their 40th anniversary. Uncle Vern was a real handsome, slim uh, person. And he, you know, he's like the rest of it. He gained some weight. Yeah. We've all had a tendency yeah. to do that. And that's Daddy. And that's our son. And that's my brother's son. A neighbor, and then that's Uncle Lawrence Trogdon. He had, was visiting at that time. They would have fallen off some cattle. That's my son. And they was getting ready to work the cattle. That's Kenneth over here, and that's my son-in-law, and that's my son. And that's their dog and them going. And he has a couple of dozers, and he was clearing out some of the snow there. This is your husband, too, then? No, this is Dan's boy. Um, David. Oh, they sure look a lot alike. <laughs> okay, here's the here's a picture of that um, 
old book, the inside of that other book you're talking about. I think, no it isn't. This is the front of that one. I don't know who. That's the front of that one. That's my plug. Okay, this is a Trogdon that he's on television. He's a writer and a lady in Tulsa sent me a book that he had wrote and he went back to his roots went back to uh, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And then he was on this special other day on the Learning Channel with Lewis and Clark, and he helped narrate it and write part Is of this it. A, he's a Trogdon? Uh-huh. He's related, too. But he lives in Missouri. Well, uh, I guess all the Trogdons are all related. Yeah, have to be. <laughs> uh, but because there was, there was just three of those Trogdon boys, I guess, came. Uh -huh. and, they, and, and and they all, and they settled in North Carolina, from what I understand. Then he had to have the second well, he had surgery. And when they did, they didn't check his sternum if it was, you know, if his heart was growed to the sternum. And, you know, they use those same clamps to pull their ribs uh, open. I know, I've had that. Oh, okay. They didn't check, and they pulled a hole in his heart because, you know, his heart was, had grown to it. So he died when he was about 51 from that. And he was a doctor. Yeah. This was Dorothy? Uh-huh. Her uh, youngest boy. I, I knew I knew she lived in, in Oklahoma City, but we uh -huh. went through there, uh, you know, more than once. And never did, never stopped, never tried to look him up or anything. I guess we could have. And that's him, and this is him. He flew airplanes, and he did stunts. He built his own airplane. It's real pretty. Mm. And uh, he liked to... Uh, he, had bees and he liked to harvest honey and do the whole thing about that. Now these are some pictures I took copies off some Aunt Dorothy had. And this says Nellie and her husband. That looks Nellie just like Mead. Nellie. She was always heavy. And this is the baby daughter, so which was And this is Aunt Elsie. Yeah, I did. And this is Will and Elsie. See, Will, Will and Elsie come out to visit Irene and I when we lived in in Colton. Oh, uh huh. They, uh, of course, their kids are all grown, but uh, they come out. Uh, and but I've never seen none of the kids after we left one time. Oh, I see. That's well, too I bad, did too. I, well, I seen. I I've seen. Uh, 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 Aunt Lou. I've seen her kids, mm -hmm. or part of them. I've never seen all of them. I've seen Velda and the two girls. I never seen. Uh, I don't. I never seen Art and I know what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Well, this is Iris's kid. This is Jerry when they lived in California. This is, and this is Ronnie, her youngest boy. And this was. Uh, did she just have two? Yeah, the two boys. Uh, did you say one of them uh, died? Uh, the oldest one, Jerry. What did he die of? Um, heart attack. Is that right? Uh -huh. He's 39 years old. Hmm. These are some pictures took off of hers. And that's Grandma and Vern and Iris when Iris was little. Did Iris pass away before Gerald? Oh, yes. No. Gerald. No, no, Gerald passed away a long time before ours did, 30 years before he did, I mean before she, uh, uh, Gerald passed away when he was 51 and ours just passed away about three years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, they were younger than us. Yeah. Uh, so. I'll turn. Now this is a picture I had and I couldn't find it at the time that was supposed to have been taken either in Wyoming at somebody's house, and I don't know if that is uh, Elsie Congers. No, uh, no, they wouldn't be, it wouldn't be in what? Elsie, Elsie never lived, wasn't living in Wyoming. Well, somebody, you know, the kind of a, it looks like a log house here. Could that have been where Lou, uh, Aunt Lou lived? Might have been. I think they lived that that's where they lived in Wyoming. Lou did before. I think that's where we stopped to, to see them when we come from Montana. And oh. then Elsie and uh and and they they've come on down to where they're living now. Where's Elsie at? Um What state's that? I can't remember. Where's Elsie live? 
You said in Casper, Wyoming. Yeah, in, in Wyoming. Uh huh. And this one here was in what? Oh, we thought it was in Wyoming. We don't know where it was. It was. Uh, we thought it was Elsie and them home, but it might have been one of y'all's home. When we was in Montana, why uh, we uh, we had we lived uh, we 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 leased a, a, a homestead out there. A guy had, had homesteaded it, but it had up and down boards, mm -hmm. and it had a stove. It had a stove in it this big around as tall as my head, and in winter time to keep that thing. Well, you couldn't keep it warm. Yeah. You didn't keep it warm, you but you back up to it. You back up to it and. <laughs> Burn one side in a while and then burn the other. I'll just turn these here. Okay. There's the little anyway. Um, now there's Will Thatcher and Aunt Lou's picture. Does that look like them? It looks like her, but I. Uh, 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 How long will it take you to drive home? Don't Three know. days, probably. Don't know. <laughs> we don't know. We've never been here before. <laughs> Well, you said he had me at work the 27th, and I was uh -huh. trying to figure out. This is Aunt Dorothy's son, other son, the oldest one. She uh -huh. had two boys. And he's one what of What do the, you do? He's an engineer, aeronautical I work engineer. Uh, paper, uh -huh. I work at a paper mill in, in maintenance. Uh-huh. Uh, figure out how to decross the, you know, that icing. On the on wings, the wings of, the plane. of the plane, yeah. Anyway, and then it shows all the stuff about it, and that's him standing there. Well, is he still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. He lives in, out by, in New Jersey. Oh, you don't, you haven't seen him then? Yeah, I see him every once in a while, mm -hmm. and he comes to see Uncle Bill, Aunt Dorothy, his dad, you know, lives in Oklahoma City. So, yeah. And he's uh, it, 90. Is, is his dad still alive? Yeah, he's 90. Just Dorothy. Uh, uh -huh. no. Who's 90? Um, Dorothy's husband. Huh? Dorothy's husband. Oh. Um, this system. Um, this is just some stuff. Uh, I had Ken pick this out for me. Uh, my brother, he worked for the oil. He worked for the oil company until he retired. And this is just about him, you know, about mm -hmm. this big, where they got oil or something. Now, this is my dad's house. Yeah, I, I have it. You showed me. Uh, yeah, okay, I, I, I have that. I had that picture of that. Yeah. And we live a quarter of a mile on down from this. You have a farm there, you know? We live on five acres, but we've got 65. And, oh, right here. I don't know if I sent you a copy of this or not. But this was whenever they lived at uh, Black Fox, I mean, Black Fox Precinct at, uh, you know, at Davenport. And, uh, let me see if I can see that right quick here. No, this is up at Osage County. Anyway, I just printed this because I didn't know y'all lived up there too. Anyway, it's got John Trogdon here mm -hmm. and Effie, Dorothy. And that's when Dorothy was a baby, so they're the only two on there. But you can get these copies of them, you know, the, the census, and you can tell you know, it tells where they're from, like Arkansas or Oklahoma and all that. We, uh, uh, we, I, I think up there in the Osage, I think that, 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 uh, that we, uh, we, I, my dad and John Trogdon farmed within a half a mile of each other. Okay. I think they did. I think that's where it okay. was. Okay. Uh, th that's uh, we was farming there when, 
of what, when we left in Monta Montana, we, uh, uh, Roy, Roy had, uh, uh, had leased that, uh, far, uh, out there in Montana, and, and he, he, and Elsie, and Elsie and, uh, and Will was living in Eagle Acre, and, and we went, and we went, and we, we rode the train. My dad went first, and then me and my mom and uh, Norman, we took the train and we went to Baker. That was the rail. Head. And they met us with a team and a sled, mm -hmm. a, a bob sled, in the middle of the winter. And I guess the first thing happened, they had they had big rocks that they hit in the back of the sled, and they said, "Cover up your head." And I went to squawking and saying, "I can't stand my head to be covered." But I hadn't got about a, a half a mile or a quarter of a mile. I had my head covered up, so I. <laughs> so they had the rocks in there to keep you warm. Keep your feet warm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and what year was that? About I don't know. Let's see. I think that must have been 1915. It must have been 1915. Mm -hmm. Must have been on the uh, It must have been 1915. Mm -hmm. Where's your wife going? She's out there walking. She's probably getting tired of ignoring her. I don't mean to ignore her now. <laughs> um, I'll see if I. This is some more. For Billy McCullough, he helped um, perfect the discover the kidney machine. Uh -huh. Then there's those barrels. How, how, come, how come his name never got out in and uh, 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 all over the country? I don't know. See, on this journal, his name is the second one down. Bill McCullough, M.D. How come it never got out? I wonder. I don't know. Yeah. Have you ever heard of it getting out? I mean, uh, is uh, generally those... I guess back then, you know, we didn't hear it like we do now. Well, I guess so. And that's my mom when she was young. Now, this is... Esther, my mother. Coward's wife. Now, who, who, was, she, who was she? She was a lead better. A lead better? Uh-huh. I knew uh, I've had lead, I had some lead batters working for me. Oh, really? Yeah. Now, it probably was some of the kin folks somewhere. Could have been. I brought your song. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I forgot them. And that's Daddy when he was younger. H Howard was a nice looking man, wasn't he? Mm hmm. And uh, this is, you know, his obituary. Was his middle name Vernon? Yeah. Did you, is some of y'all Vernon? No. But I thought that one of the other boys was named Vernon. It's, it's uh, actually Vernon. They called him Vernon. Yeah, it's Vernon. They called him Howard Vernon Trogdon and Walter Vernon Trogdon. Oh. And Torrance and Lawrence. You know, that's really yeah. almost <laughs> like too. <laughs> I know. Now, this is my grandma uh, Miller, Effie's mother. And that's my sister. And that's Grandpa Trogdon. And this is George Miller, her, her son. That's my brother, and that's me. They named him Johnny. John Trogden, he goes by. And then this is us when we was a little older. And this is us when they was fishing, caught a bunch of fish, and this is Daddy and Grandpa. You know, when Daddy uh, gained weight, he gained it in his stomach. He said, I'm going to be like Dad, got that big stomach. <laughs> And this is uh, Daddy, Mother, and my sister and I, my brother Johnny and Philip. Then Daddy's hair is kind of messed up there, but that's him and me. And this is my kids here. You have four children? Yes. One boy and three girls. Well, are, is any of them living in Oklahoma? All of them. Within oh. mm, 12 miles of us. Oh, they do? One lives north. One lives by us. 
the boy lives by it, and then the other lives about 10 miles south of us, and the other one about that many miles east of us, so they all live around Pryor. What are you doing, Irene? I was just going to get those pictures of... Oh. And then this is Grandpa Trogdon there. If I can find them, I, there's so much junk in here. And that's my sisters and brothers. This is all my cousins when I was a baby there. You know, uh, well, we, now, this is Uncle Roy and Aunt El, his second wife, third wife. See, he had a wife that had died in childbirth. Yeah, in I know. Uh, she Davenport. Uh, then he had one in her I, that died. I, I remembered her name here the other day, and now I, it's, I've lost it again. Okay. His first wife. Um, I know it was on that tombstone, but I can't remember what it was. Elsie wasn't, no. What's Dale? You, Ellen. Ellen. Have you got that cemetery plaid yeah, in there? Ellen. Ellen. And, and I don't remember what her You're talking name. to me or her? No. Her, that's, do you have that cemetery plaid in there? No, I was depending on you get all that stuff and you didn't get it. And that's Roy, huh? Uh, yeah, this is Roy. <coughs> this is, you know, when he was older here. They think he spit just as good as he did. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like he spit through a crack floor. <laughs> and then, uh, Aunt El, I mean, um, that's the one you just wrote to. Um, Elsie's daughter, what's her name? Can't even think myself uh, now. Uh, Nellie. Nellie yeah. Mead. Is that Nellie? Yeah, that's Nellie. She sent that to me probably about three years ago. Did you find the pictures, Iris? Huh? Can't tell if that's the ones or not. I can't seem to tell who it is. That's you and him and. Uh, this was taken at her birthday party down at the Senior at the Cedar Club. Cedar Club. They they threw they threw her a, a birthday party down there. They thought I they were. Can't what that is. This is the same one. That's here. you. Happy 90th birthday, Irene. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice. Yeah. And that's your birthday cake. And you. I can't see what that is. Uh huh. That's just, that's I think it's the same again. one. It's uh -huh. the same one again. Well, that's you and your birthday cake. I'm trying to find the one that's under the tree out here. This is it. This is it. Uh huh. You can have that one if you want. Oh, know. okay. Thank you. That's real pretty, those blooming there. Yeah, we got two of yeah, them. Yeah, that's... So you can have one of those. Okay, thanks. Uh, uh, we got two of these birthday parties. You want to give her one of those, Irene? Is there two of it? I think so. Let me look and see. Make sure. Here's one. I can't tell what it is. That's you and him. I don't... February 1997. Where was that taken? I can't see it well enough to tell. It, was it taken down the... No, I did, it wasn't taken here in this house. That's not the... Is well, it, it just you and Oh, I? yes, it is taken right here by, by this curtain. Well, that's a better one, of uh, isn't it? That's a good one of us. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's she a good one better. of you. It's up closer, isn't it? <laughs> did, did you ever meet Annalee? Um, let's see, Dan's girl, Annalee. Never, never, mm -mm. never, never met. No, that's it. Uh, that, that, that wasn't the duplicate here. Mm -hmm. But you can have it. Uh, see, uh, I'll look and see we, what's in that other we've, book. Uh, we've lost. Do you all need to eat? It's oh, anytime well, you folks want to eat. Uh, we're in no hurry. But yeah, but do you eat on time usually? No, no, not. Oh. Uh, I didn't know. Do, can you, do you folks like pizza? Yeah, that's fine. Do you mm -hmm. like it? Do you yeah. like it? Yeah. If you don't like it, say so. We'll go someplace else. <laughs> it's fine. That'd be fine. That'd be just fine. Oh, this is. You didn't much. ask me. <laughs> well, I, I know about you. <laughs> you. You should know what she likes to yeah, know. I know, that, I know what she likes. 
He was in the Third Army Corps under Bess and Henders. This is when they fought in um, at the Gettysburg. He, it, he was uh, captured somewhere there, wasn't he? Yeah. I bet he was a he, I bet he was a rugged old builder. He <laughs> was uh, he was sent to David's Island in New York before the war was out. Anyway, this is just some records of when you know where they fought and stuff there. And, and I have that, don't I? Some of that. Yeah. yeah. And this here is North Carolina troops. That was at the book that he, you know, that his brothers are in right here. Yeah, I think and, I have this too. And more. they said that they're. Uh, writing another one that's got on the internet so I want to get that information when they get through because you know they're they can get into records now that they used to not let him oh yeah them. I know it's and I think I give you sent this to you that's uh Caroline her maybe I didn't her death certificate Caroline Trogdon that was that was his wife yeah our grand uh, my grandmother uh-huh your, no. no, this is his first, his first wife. Oh, oh. That you know, in North Carolina. It's just showing that they were married, you know, at that time. And this is Emsley Trogdon. That's his dad. You know, Jeremiah's dad. Mm -hmm. And it's just telling, you know, uh, where he was in the census, in 1860 Randolph County census. Uh, well, this big book you have here, how far back does that go? Oh, the William the First. Uh -huh. Yeah, William the First in the 1700s. But there's somebody, there's some of them working on a new Trogdon book now. And like I said, they can, they're, they can get into records now that they used to not be able to. So they're finding out even more stuff. And it goes back to T-R-O-U-G-H-T-O-N. You know, England and they think... Uh, Germany, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Highland, Germany. Well, there was some tried into Germany? Yeah. You know, Don't sound like a German they, name. Before they got to England. Oh. It was spelled T-R-O-U-G-H-T-O-N, I think. T-R-O-U-G-H-T-O-N. Oh, well, that You know, before they changed it on down. Hmm. But this is Emsley's, uh, I think I sent this to you, his... Uh, Will, and he names, you know, he knows that he's in Bates County, Missouri, right mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So that's why I didn't think, you know, that that would be the one that ran off and they never heard from him again. So see, this is 1878. Mm -hmm. So they know he's there even then. Mm -hmm. And I think that's about when Grandpa John Trogdon was born. About 1874, wasn't it? Oh, 1874. Thank you, Russ. Yeah, that, uh, let's see. My mother was born in 85. My dad was four years older. So he'd be, he'd be in 81. Uh huh. This is, uh, Emsley's Trogdon's Wheel, Randolph County. Now, Emsley. That's Jeremiah's dad. Oh. And then it. You know, it tells in here. It was a handwritten one. Yeah. Oh. Isn't that neat? Hmm. Emily Trogdon, seal. You know, there was... Did I not send you this? I don't think so, no. You know, I don't think so. I don't... I didn't see it. There was there's so much of it, and uh, I... And, and we've been under so much pressure here. Irene's been sick for so long. Uh-huh. And I haven't really, I haven't, I haven't had time to really, to to s just sit down for uh, three or four hours and 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 go through it really like I should. You mm -hmm. know. But uh, if you want me to, I'll send you a copy of this. That'd be nice. I'd like. Yeah. To. You want me to blow it up where you can read it better? Oh, I don't care. I mean, can you read that okay? Oh yeah, I see good. I mean, oh okay. I, I don't have no trouble. Uh, my eyes is pretty good. Okay. And I got all my teeth. You do? Well, boy, you are. I ain't got no holes in them either. Why, <laughs> well, well, how did you live? That's a, <laughs> I mean, that's a record. 
never had a toothache in his life. Isn't that something? <laughs> that is. Yeah, I I got I got the. Uh, I got good. I got good eyes, and I, I got all my teeth, and I don't have no holes in them. Well, now Daddy could see better than I could. I'd have to go up there sometimes to get him to. Okay, like if a screw come out of my glass, he'd have to fix it for me. He mm -hmm. could fix it, mm -hmm. and uh, different things. Or like way over there in the pasture, I can't see anything very far, and he could see. Well, uh, see a lot there, not I, 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 I see well a long ways off. But you see, uh, my father got killed when we were young, or, or we were young. Uh -huh. So we missed, I and my brother really missed having a father for... for father figure. Uh, for, you know, as you get older, you, you don't appreciate your father and mother much whenever you're right. young. Right. It's when you get beginning to get up in your forties and up in there. That you <laughs> when you have kids. Yeah, then you right. begin to appreciate mm -hmm. your mother and father. Well, did I send you um, Jeremiah's will? Yeah, you sent me that. Uh huh. Okay. That. In this it says William King and Roy Berry being first duly sworn upon their oath that they were acquainted with Jeremiah D. Trogdon who died in and county about the year 1895 having a homestead right under the laws of the United States. Anyway, you can read it, but uh, it goes ahead and says that the said Jeremiah D. Trogdon left surviving him heirs, a widow, Mary Jane Trogdon, and five children to wit, Elsie E. Conger, wife of Will Conger, William Roy Trogdon, James Raleigh Trogdon, John M. Trogdon, and Louisa Thatcher, wife of William L. Thatcher. Uh, and the Flint Feather state that the said Mary Jane Trogdon died about the year 1899, leaving the above named children as her heirs and only heirs, said children being also her children. Feather state that neither, I can't read what that says there, said Jeremiah D. Trogdon nor the said, nor the Something. Mary Jane Trogdon left surviving them, or either of them any living child or descendant of any deceased child, William King, Roy Berry, subscribed and sworn to me the 7th day of April. I didn't show you those pictures. So, so uh, they were old enough by then, 1908, to have gotten something, really. Uh, uh, but 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 this is this is from what we, what they told us this is all wrong that's all wrong from what they what 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 we what I, what my dad said he they he said and, and not once but I can't see to tell you what they are but they're well, my birthday party okay I, I can see I got this from the courthouse but he they they claim that 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 uh, that. They they both died and, and with a runaway thing. I've I've been under that impression all oh, my yeah. life. Uh -huh. And she she lived several years later. Uh -huh. According to you know the according yeah. to the court record. Yeah. According to what we uh, huh? according to what we have heard, he lived a few days after the. Team. I mean, he didn't yeah, die well, immediately. Yeah. But, but he died from the runaway. But she may have. After, when she died, it might have been from the injuries was up and from that. Well, it could have been that too. What it was, but they, but they never t told it that way. Mm -hmm. They never told it that way. And see, and then, Jerem, I mean John Trogdon, Grandpa, your uncle think? John. See, in 1903, he helped these all these people. This Victor Cemetery Association. Um, it's a, you know, to start this cemetery association that some of them had been buried there and they start an association to take care of it. Well, anyway, on it, this Robinson, Charles Cook, and Royer, we met this Royer woman. Uh, it was her dad, wasn't it? Her dad or her granddad? Her granddad, granddad huh? and she still lives Lemon in the, oh, okay. Thank the you. house that they got in the land run. Which oh, well, thank you. Not, not right now. Uh -huh. Not right now. 
And that's where we think that they're probably buried because here is the, uh, I'll have to get the rest of it, but they had a flat laid out. Yeah, a, a family, here. like a family for the family. Yeah. Uh, you see, we've been... Uh, and here's yeah, what I it have, looks I like. I have that. I have that. And I need to get the rest of it. Go back over there. This man, old man, had uh, this plant, and he said he didn't know who to give it to. Well, nobody knew that he had it. So the county treasure, he gave it to him because he was young, and he always was going around getting people's history. So he took it up to the courthouse and gave it to him. Anyway, well, we was up there just a few days later, and that's how we found all this stuff was that guy helped us and it has everybody's uh, you know that you know the ones that was laid out there and then here's a Jay Conger hmm. now I don't know and here is uh, W.R. Trogdon okay Ellen it has on this tombstone it's a real nice tombstone and uh, it has at rest Ellen wife of W.R. Trogdon December 28, 1888, died January 24, 1907. That's Roy's wife. And it has that... Uh, I can't think of her last name. Well, it had on there her parents' name when we went back over there. They, uh, they, were, some, they were some people that we... that my grandfather, York, and, and my grandmother, York, was well acquainted with. They uh, lived close together. They they, they knew uh, knew them well. They were uh, uh, they 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 were from a good family there, and uh, uh, but I can't remember her last. Like she said, it had their name on that tombstone, didn't it? Yeah, it had their name on it. But I'll go back over there and see. And at the time, see, it's been seven years since I've been over there. So I need to go back over there now that I know a little we more. We found and out things that we didn't know more. at the time. Well, are you the only one in, in this whole family that's done, done all of this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody seems to be interested yet. Now, our daughter's real interested. I've got two daughters that's real interested in it. But they work, and they'll say, Mom, you're not doing nothing. You go, <laughs> you go look for this stuff. <laughs> But see, they had um, John Trogdon. Well, we know John is buried there. So and he wasn't even married. His parents. You know, there's two, be Jeremiah and them, because there's two plots there. And he wasn't even married. You know, and John wasn't married, so. Well, it, it maybe it, maybe it's the plot uh, where uh, where he was. We just figured they might have put the plots in his name and. And if that's where this buried, there's no tombstone there. I bet Dwight would have been in seventh heaven if it had been here. Now, who's Dwight? That's Norman's son. Oh, okay. He, 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 and he, he's going to get in touch with us? I think so, yeah. Okay. He's get, he, mm -hmm. he, he was really interested. He, mm -hmm. uh, uh, he, he was a, he, he's an eye doctor. Oh, uh -huh. he's a surgeon, isn't he? I surgeon. He he's retired now, or semi-retired anyway. And they live in Sonora too. Oh, uh huh. And uh, I wish we'd had more time. And you'll have to come again. Mm -hmm. you, Maybe he's on the internet. If you don't come soon, you'll miss us. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going um, to Maybe he's on the internet. Maybe he's on the internet. internet. Uh, Is it? That, that, uh, But Maybe I, we'll have something when we get home, Ernie. Right? Dwight and Sher uh, Sherry traveled all through the East. And if he'd have known about you, he could probably stop to see you. Mm -hmm. Well, anytime any of your folks going through or want to come, just tell them, come on. And we'll take them over there and show them where, they're, you know, where the homestead is. They, they, uh, uh, well, Norman's kind of like me, you know, I mean, He's past doing anything, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I'll take the place there. Uh, but Dwight uh, and and Sherry uh, was interested, and Dwight is a very he's a very smart man. He, uh, you know, I mean, very thorough, probably yeah, too. And, and mm -hmm. 
he 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 took a lot of copies off of some mm -hmm. of this stuff here. He was really interested. And <coughs> uh, well, have you ever heard of uh, off stop? Um, I can't see if that's what that is for sure, but Gilbert, Burkhart, Adams, no. Reed, Berg, Harney, H A R N E R Y. Never heard of any of those. No. Ferris. But that Conger been there. Sexton, I Douglas. Know. Turner, Fox, Robbins, Nash. They, there was a Cook. There was another conger. Uh, was he kin to him? He was a kid of Will, uh, Will Conger. Mm -hmm. He was a brother. My dad and him used to play ball. He was a pitcher and my dad was a catcher. And this ball mm -hmm. team. Uh, you know what? Uh, one of those, you know. Little country uh, ball team. Wasn't it Will Conger that come to our house? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, but I can't remember what this other Conger's name was. This is where Roy Trogden. I had that list there, didn't I? You know this that is, I got off that. And this is Dan Trogden. Yeah, and that's Ann Lee, his daughter. And that's his wife. Um, that was Dan's wife? Mm hmm. Is she still alive? Yes, she's still alive. And this is his daughter? Uh-huh. And this is where he's buried, the Austin Cemetery in Arkansas. And then that, uh, you know, the tombstone, Ellen and Dan, and that's Audrey and her husband. And that's an old church that, you know, where they had their funeral at the time, but now it's, I took this about five years ago. And, and Audrey's dead. Uh-huh. 1911. Well, she's been dead a long time, hasn't she? Well, she was born in 1911 and, and, and died in yeah. 78. Mm -hmm. But that's, she's been dead a long time. Yeah, she had. Oh, yeah. She had cancer. Uh, I know, uh, I know she wanted to get, uh, she wanted to get, uh, this has been 40 years ago, or close to it, she wanted to get her family out of there for some reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she told Daddy she had to get down there too. Uh, so, yeah. She uh, uh, she she wanted him, she wanted him out here in California. She tried to uh, tried to get out there, but I guess it didn't didn't take or something. I don't know. Um, one of her boys works for Heston. He's an engineer for Heston. You know the farm equipment Heston up in Kansas. They've all done real well. Her kids. Mm-hmm. And Dan's too. Uh, well, I, uh, now yeah. Grandpa had these two, and he had these two pictures. And Aunt Dorothy said it was his playmates. And we said, well, he didn't have that good of pictures of his playmates when he's in Missouri. <laughs> and either, you know, these look like it could be Lou and Elsie by could some of, when you put their pictures up against them, you know, because of her rounded face. Could be. Or yeah. that could be Jeremiah's first kid. He had. You know, two daughters and two sons by his first kid. I mean, from his first wife. But, you know, these are real old pictures. Yeah, yeah Jeremiah had been insured by his first wife. Four. Four. Two girls and two boys. Do you have any idea where they are? They're in North Carolina. and Well, they're dead, mm -hmm. but their kids are in North Carolina. and. Um, he was in contact that one and hadn't been able to contact him since. He might have died. Yeah, I think so. And over there at Stroud, they wanted me to see if maybe this is the blacksmith. If this was Jeremiah, or this was Jeremiah. And there's a little boy there. And do you know what he looked like? Had Jeremiah been in? Never saw his picture. No. Oklahoma before the run. No, not yeah. that we know of, huh? Yeah, he was a blacksmith oh, yeah, for he was Cherokee blacksmith. in 1885. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he was here. Uh, I, now, this is Roy again, isn't it? Uh-huh. That's Elsie. She found him on the 
Cherokee Census in Benita. She found him on Cherokee Census in Benita in 1885 that he was a blacksmith for them. The one still alive, what's her name? Um, Mrs. Cherokee. Mrs. Nelly. Nelly. Does that look like Nelly? Uh, they was Nora. Nora wasn't very bright. Was she uh, oldest or was Nelly? She was the oldest. I'll Nelly bet that's was her baby. then, don't you? Probably. She wasn't very bright. Did she live very long or? Well, yes, she lived quite a long time. Mm -hmm. I think she got. I think she got married. Uh, did do you remember Irene whether uh, Nora whether they ever told you whether Nora got married or not? Do do I know what? Do you remember uh, uh, whether they, whether Nora Conger got married or not? Who's Nora Conger? That was uh, Aunt Elsie's oldest girl. Down in San Diego? No, 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 in Wyoming. I don't know. Well, you knew Elsie and Bill. They come yeah. to visit us. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't you know don't remember what they were t said anything. I can't remember either. See, uh, honey, I never met those people, so it's hard for me to remember. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, no, I don't know. Uh, then there was Willard and Cecil. Was Willard the oldest? No, Cecil, Cecil. was the oldest. So that's probably Cecil and Nora. Could be. By them being their I, oldest I, kids, I thought that I thought that uh, Nora was the oldest, was older than Cecil. I thought that. You know. Th well, which it? conger was it? Was the photographer, Carolyn? Which one? Um, now this is the one. Do you have that picture? That's your dad, your uh, mom. No, you 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 sent this picture mm -hmm. of this. Uh, okay. No, I I never had it. Uh, uh, that's my dad's two sisters. Mm -hmm. See, my dad was a blonde, and the rest of the others was dark-headed. Are you? Well, I'll say. Was you dark-headed? No, no, I never had dark, real dark hair. Probably. Really? Now, see, some my of my mother's them. hair was was black. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, this is Audrey, Dan, and Roy. See, we never had none of those pictures. And then that's the same one. Mm -hmm. We never had any of those pictures. That's the same one. Then this is my brother. He died with cancer when he was 39. Mm -mm. That just throws me. Uh, my That's my daughter. She died with cancer when she was early 40. And, you know. Now, do you know if that's really you and uh, Norman? No, I <laughs> don't hardly look like this, does it? This is what Aunt Dorothy, I just copied them off of her. And this says it's Cecil. Does that look like Cecil? You know, 17. He was 16 whenever, he was 16 years old whenever he looked, come and stayed with us in winter times that they went to school. Could that be you? No, it wouldn't be me. Wouldn't you? No, yeah. So she probably has the Christine in her family. Oh, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Arnie, you'll have to tell her who's who here. That's you, him, Christine. This is Anna Lee. This is Irene. This is Sarah. This little girl over there. Mm -hmm. And that's Ronnie. That's uh, and and Marge that's seven. and that's Christine. That that's that's Margie's three kids. And that's, uh, well, it's uh, funny, you know, Dan, um, Emily. Yeah, Dan has a girl named Emily. Dan Trogdon, your yeah. daughter is Emily. I had never heard the name before. Anna Lee Trogdon. Irene, is this us? Yeah. Is that? Do you think that that's? Uh, uh, I don't think that. 
Well, she's got Arnie Trogdon. Oh, Arnie Trogdon's son. Yeah, that's Paul. So that's Paul and... That's probably Paul. I don't know. Where'd you get it? Uh, it's a copy that Aunt Dorothy had, and I just copied it with the copying machine mm -hmm. off of it. See, she may have had it wrong, too, when she wrote it down. This is Arnie's granddaughter and her family. And you don't think that's the your little daughter? girl is Sarah, mm -hmm. and the boy is Brian. Mm -hmm. This is her. Could it be Norma? Mm -hmm. We have two boys. No, it had to be in and girl. And I can't. And you don't think it's you? And I can't tell you. It's upside down, then. No. <laughs> I can't tell you. Don't who. like y'all either, huh? This is her. Yeah, and I'm in there, and Arnie's yeah, in there. Yeah, that's you and Arnie, and I don't know about. There's a heavy set girl. Uh -huh. uh, that's Ann Lee, and there's a boy. That's Ronnie. That's Mar uh, Marge's. It says John Charles uh, and Aunt Elsie. This was her home. The little, the that's little girl here. Cabin. Yeah, that's Sarah. Log house. That's her. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you can't see. You can't tell who anybody oh. is. <laughs> Which one? Velda. She's got Velda Thatcher on it. That's the baby. Does that look like mm -hmm. her? Mm -hmm. She, of course, this is much younger than what. What uh, Velda was when I seen her, she was well, married. My when eyes I got so bad I couldn't see. And that's just Why? a copy. I give you a copy of that. I had a whole box yeah. of pictures. That one, yeah, that one. Okay. Taken over a period of time. That's a letter, Annie. Yeah, and the and kid and I, 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 I said, got that one. Oh, you go I, through that, and anything that you want, you take. About Dan, mm -hmm. of your own family. Wife, Dan, I mean, uh, and uh, Uncle Roy's second wife. Uh, Arnie didn't seem to care anything about him anymore, and I couldn't see who was who. Dan and. So I don't have any left. Mm -hmm. I had put these in the pictures. Norman and Dan was but, about uh, the same age. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was there. I was older. And in Missouri, they used to have a Trogdon genealogy there, and the lady died, so I can see it. they don't ever <coughs> do it. They don't do it anymore. Walk around. But you know, she but if I met you in the road tomorrow, I wouldn't know you. Mm -hmm. From uh, North Carolina, because I don't see well enough to. She has been so there just about years. Get around, huh? That's I say you see good enough to get around. Huh? Yeah, I can I can walk around. And there's so many John Trogdon. I have to be very careful because well, one of I stepped in a hole out far. here and fell. Uh, well, well, a lot of them. Uh, I was uh, going down the steps. Uh, uh, most of the Trogdon had old names. Uh, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. And got uh, just off of the bottom step. And uh, I don't know. I don't know why, but they did. They foot cleaner out there. You go back slipped out from under me, and I fell. Them, that mm -hmm. caused a lot yeah. of my the trouble. The only ones that I got, I got this. I just, I don't know. I just happened to get kind of uh, started on it, and not very much. Well, Ronnie, he's had to do all uh, but, but the house but, but you, laundry and Utah, everything. You have to buy all this stuff. Now. Yeah. And. Uh, and I didn't think it was very important. I got to where I could wash the mm -hmm. dishes and, and uh, spread up the bed. Give a, it would give a lot of... But sometimes, the if there's more than a half a dozen dish dishes, I have to sit down. Mm -hmm. But I did, still didn't think it was very informative, did it? Well, they say, like Oklahoma, if I went to the Historical Society at Oklahoma City, you can look up these old papers, you know, back in Indian Territory, and I'd looked at two papers, I guess, on the microfilm trying to find about his uh, death certificate or, I mean, his death or Mary Jane's death or telling about the wagon wreck, you know. Mm -hmm. But I hadn't found it yet. Uh, I wonder why they uh, wonder why they went to Oklahoma to start with. Well, he was a blacksmith, you know, and he went to... <laughs> why did um, they go? You know, he went to Why, yeah. Vanita to begin with, and uh, Aunt Elsie said that, or not Aunt Elsie, but uh, Nellie said, Aunt Elsie said that she went to school at Vanita, and she'd come to Vanita with her dad and Grandpa Trogdon, and she kept house, and he worked for the Cherokee, um, what do you call it? 
Indian tribe, you know. And that Roy and Raleigh was babies. So Mary Jane stayed in Missouri with them, and her sister, Aunt Fanny, stayed with them up there, helped take care of them. So she came to cook and keep house for Jeremiah and while he worked here at Bonita. Well, then the next thing we have records of is he has moved to Stroud, Oklahoma, and worked for Sack and Fox Indian agent. So he probably got better pay by going on down there. Then that's, you know, after that, well, he was in the land run and got the 160 acres. But he was still working for Sack and Fox. But he is still working for Sack and Fox Indians when he had this. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> now, I remember my dad uh, uh, saying, uh, uh, and this was probably handled hand down to him too. You know, I mean, because he was, but he said, if th those Indians had steal, you know, yeah, and he'd come up a hammer missing or something, and when he did, he'd just close the close the blacksmith shop doors because that's who he's doing the work for. Mm -hmm. And the Indians would come and want to know why, and he said, well, uh, one of these one of these Indians stole my hammer or something. Thing. Said they never, never would admit it, but some morning you wake up and the hammer would be laying by the door. <laughs> <laughs> well, Daddy, he is telling, Grandpa Trogman, he is telling that uh, something about when they get too many around watching him, well, he would, um, you know, have his arm real hot. And he'd start hitting that, and so them sparks flying, and said, boy, they'd just run out of there, screw them dead. <laughs> so. Well, you, would you folks like to go uptown and eat? Okay, we're ready. Okay. And, um, like I said, I, I have out there in this, um, oh, I... Block down, you'll be in Arizona. Yes. I said, 
be in Arizona or California, I've seen that Arizona stuff. What's this? I'd love to go on a road trip or something after I graduated. And the next time he saw him, like two weeks later, I was looking at him on a itinerary, like phone call with the places that they would go to. Oh, really? So he was like, um, <laughs> I guess I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> was he not dead? Yeah. No, he was real scared about going beforehand. He was nervous. And he's got some weird old guy, you know. Although he gets along really well with him. He's like a real cool uncle. Yeah. Like the
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> rock to rock, isn't it? Get out. No. The, there's the car. Okay. Behind. Go. I got it. Put your window back so we It's clear. Okay. This is the really long direction to come in.
have cedar trees all over the place. And this is coming into the Tucumcari, New Mexico. And a lot of these have this white stuff. It looks like they're mining it or something. Didn't get it. Rolling country. 